All right. So for lecture three, we're going to take a crash course on the mixed panel terminology. So the things they use and what they call them. So the first thing, they have events. Uh, and in mixed panel wor uh, the world, an event is really just an action that people take on your website. So that can be a sign up for your product, they download an ebook, uh, perhaps they completed another lead generation form. And sometimes events can also be seen as page views, so they view the sign up page. Uh, Mixpanel re isn't really set, uh, meant to be used as a page view tracker like Google Analytics, uh, but there's a few exceptions and there's actually a whole lecture just on that. So along with events, uh, each event has a property. Uh, well, it has really a bunch of properties. And the properties are kind of information that goes along with it, with each event. So this is just a project I have here set up, uh, kind of testing project on my end. And we can see this, there's been two events uh, two minutes ago. And when we kind of click into it, we have uh, all the properties. Uh, so properties can be things as your browser information. It can be things like where you're at or mark information like your referring domain. See, this is a direct, I kind of went to URL directly. And other things like screen height. Uh, there's some properties that we set. So there's a custom property. So we tell Mixpanel to track these things. And there's some default properties that Mixpanel just captures right away. And here's a special thing about the Mixpanel library. This is the web library, so the JavaScript API. And each library tracks different things by default. We'll also cover that a little bit more in, in section two. And finally, the, the third thing that's really the third component of Mixpanel is user profiles. And they call it people here. And I do have a couple of people profiles to show you. In this case, it's all myself. And when you have a user profile here, you'll see the same properties that you kind of saw plus a few other ones. And these properties were taken at the moment the users created. We'll also look at how to create users and how to manage users. And then once you create a user, it makes sense that it's then able to kind of take all the events the user has done and put them in a nice list like this so you can very accurately see everything that user has ever done on your website or app. Uh, so user profiles are very, very useful and something you definitely want to have and set up properly from the start. So uh, lecture four, we'll cover just a, a little of the exceptions on events versus page views. Uh, the main thing I'll say about that is to focus on actions and the actions users take. But let's go on to lecture four.